we need to discuss now. Every year, disasters caused by natural and man-made hazards impact the lives of people throughout the world. Today is the International Day for Disaster Reduction, which aims to create awareness on the need for risk awareness and disaster reduction. It also recognizes how people and communities throughout the globe are decreasing their vulnerability to catastrophes and increasing awareness about the significance of mitigating the risk that they face. The theme this year, International Cooperation for Developing Countries to Reduce Disaster Risk and Disaster Losses. Now, that is what we'll be talking about. Now, Emergency Response Specialist and First Aid Trainer, Dari Akinfoshile, joins me now to help make sense of all of this. Dari, good morning. Good morning. Good thanks, to see you. Thanks for having me. Great. Now, when it comes to disaster and risk, in this part of the world, we are very quick to leave things in the hands of God. Mm -hmm. ah, no, it's not my passion. You know, you, you hear things <laughs> you hear things like that. But it still doesn't prevent what will happen from happening if, if there's any neglect or, 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 you know, and things like that. But getting into the issue, why are we still, even d despite the fact that we should have done something tangible, why do we still live within that realm of not facing the realities and leaving things to the superstition or to the God factor? Well, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, God forbid, is not uh, an emergency response plan. Hmm. It's, it's not preparedness. Disaster risk reduction is linked uh, with development. Nigeria is still the capital of poverty in the world. Uh, there is poor education. All of this put together affects the way people prepare, mm. cope, and respond uh, to disaster. So th there are developmental issues. Uh, people are not educated. People do things uh, without uh, thinking about the potential consequences. You find people born in uh, bush, even in schools, even in higher institutions. I've gone to pass through uh, higher institutions, and you find bush burning. Mm. And this is where they teach programs like environmental protection, environmental sciences, and they're still doing that. And so it, it's, you can't separate disaster risk reduction from, from development. So anything that affects development affects the people. If we have to narrow down to some of the everyday risks that people, people should be aware of, what, what kinds of risks that should, for instance, I wake up this morning, what are the things I should have at the corner of my mind when it comes to being uh, trying to prevent risk or prevent any kind of disaster? It's awareness. Uh, so disaster prevention starts from uh, an individual. Hmm. Uh, of course, there's this strategic um, umbrella from the government, but everyone has uh, a role to play. Mm -hmm. And so in your house, how much are you willing to prevent accident? Because eventually, if fire starts in your house, it could affect the whole community. Mm -hmm. And at that level, it's can be seen as a disaster. Most times when uh, we use the word disaster, we think of a very large scale event like tsunami, earthquake. But mm -hmm. at an individual level, you could actually experience disaster because disaster in itself is the interruption of normal activities to the point where the affected community or person cannot cope by themselves using their own resources. Mm. So if there's a fire in your house and you cannot cope, you can't manage that disaster uh, during the event and after the event, then that is a disaster for you at that level. Maybe not at the community level, but if a fire starts in your house and burns down uh, the whole marketplace, then at that community level, that is a disaster. And so Every day you have to wake up looking around. It, it's just that when we tell Nigerians these things, it's as if you are preempting evil hmm. and someone is quick to say, God forbid. <laughs> but again, how, 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 do you, what, what's, how much space do you have in your house? How can you escape uh, in case uh, of a disaster? What is your uh, security plan? How do you prevent uh, uh, burglary? How do you prevent theft in your mm -hmm. house? All of these things put together. But the, the point there is, everybody just wakes up and does his own thing. Because when it comes to prevention of fire, prevention of burglary, prevention of, you know, things like that, sometimes one would say you need some level of professional, you know, uh, tips and heads up here and there. So how does one go, you know, getting all of those kind of trainings uh, and so on? 
education, what, what, what has been taught in school. Mm. So when you go to school every day, it's not about uh, complex mathematics, algebra. What are those everyday uh, life tips you get in schools? Are, if, are teachers even informed in the first place mm. to cascade this education? What is the uh, government program in schools to uh, raise disaster uh, reduction awareness oh. and all, all of this puts uh, together is disaster risk reduction. All right, now the theme for this year, uh, International Cooperation for Developing Countries to Reduce disaster, disaster Risk and Disaster Losses. How significant is this theme to the realities of, of, of today? In 2015, the Senda framework was adopted. That's, that was in, uh, in Japan. Mm. And it has a 15-year strategic plan and seven strategic focal points. And this is the sixth one, which is uh, appealing to the international community, especially first world nations, to assist low and middle income nations like Nigeria to fund disaster risk reduction plans. Uh, it is estimated that at least $70 billion is required for low and middle income uh, nations. And the, it could actually scale up to $300 billion. Where are they going to get it from? Africa, Nigeria, do they don't, we, are, we already have a lot of complex issues we are managing, e economic issues. So disaster risk reduction is linked to socioeconomic issues. And when you talk about socioeconomic issues, you are talking about money mm. for development. And so it's an appeal to the international uh, community, the First Nations, to say, look, assist low, middle, uh, low income and middle earning uh, nations in implementing their uh, disaster reduction. But if, if, if they have to assist, in, in what areas now uh, are they going to assist and how would that money, is, let's assume that money is there, how would it be channeled to the tangible results that we, you and I would like to see? Yes, there, there's a UN program and uh, strategic uh, activities where international communities uh, channel this uh, money to. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's not necessarily uh, physical cash, it could be deploying uh, specialist, uh, you know, personnel to mm. Africa. So I in case you need, uh, for instance, a program where you need to implement uh, disaster education in, in schools, you could have uh, support from UK where you have personnel coming to uh, Nigeria and working with the Nigerian government to say, look, this is what we've done in the UK. This is how you can do it uh, without necessarily paying the, uh, the UK government. Everything can be monetized, actually, because mm. some of these things cost uh, a lot of money, which uh, the developing countries may not have uh, access to. And so the, the likes of the uh, USA, the UK can come in to say, okay, we, we are helping here. But again, yes, anyone who wants to invest money in disaster risk reduction would also want to know how that is, is going to be managed. Mm. And that is where the, the challenge is. Mm. You, you talked about the socioeconomic factors earlier on. And right now, when people are talking of how to survive first and how to you know, find food on the table first before they think about all of those. How does that pose as a challenge to the issues of facing the risks of preventing disasters and all of that? Yes, because uh, the, if you look at the human needs, uh, the food is probably the first mm -hmm. need, uh, even before shelter. Mm -hmm. And that is why you see that someone could live uh, under the bridge as an homeless person for years and still be surviving because every day you get food because whether they're begging for food or they're going into the trash to get uh, remnants. And so if I can't eat, how do I think about uh, adequate shelter mm. and how do I think about uh, getting fire extinguishers in my home to uh, manage fire? So it is a factor of need and unfortunately that affects, it's, uh, those are the factors that defines vulnerability. And so there's the hazard, there's the exposure, and then there's vulnerability that this process you to exposure to these disasters. Mm. And when those things are not managed, you, you are quite vulnerable. Mm. Which, which of the agencies, when it comes to safety, I, I know that the Lagos State has uh, the safety commission, but besides that, which, which agencies of government are directly involved in this as a way of either informing the people and creating awareness or engaging people on daily basis to ensure that uh, there is safety? Uh, in, in terms of disaster management and coordination, that is NEMA, that is the National uh, Emergency Man Management Agency. Mm. Of, of course, there's, 
Uh, disaster management is interdisciplinary, uh, so you could have the Ministry of Environment having a role to play. Uh, NIMET also, mm -hmm. uh, that's the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, gives us the projection for the year. Mm -hmm. of, of every year they come to warn us of every rainfall, and that is to prepare people's mind to say, look, there will be flooding. At least it f uh, 68 people were killed last year alone in, in different uh, uh, flooding activities, mm -hmm. or I mean flooding events. and so. These agencies come together, depending on what uh, is, is being talked about, but the umbrella body as the agency that has been empowered to manage disaster is uh, NEMA. And managing disaster does not always, uh, is not just about responding. Hmm. Uh, disaster management includes uh, mitigation, prevention, education, relief, response, and all of those uh, activities put together. Okay. Now, uh, bes besides that, but even, even in other areas, we, we see agencies like the Fire Service, the Federal Road Safety Corps, the NSCDC, and even the police and all of that, they are all involved exactly. one way or the other. But when it comes to the capacity of each of these agencies to perform and to be impactful when it comes to engaging Nigerians and getting the desired results, what should be done to increase their capacities? Well, it's, it's uh, again, funding, training. Mm. Uh, how much does the, uh, the average police officer knows about disaster risk reduction? You'd expect a, uh, a firefighter mm -hmm. who is in the Federal Fire Service or State Fire Service to know because that is the core of, of their duty. Mm. But disaster management is not just, as I, as I mentioned earlier, is interdisciplinary. Uh, so there's the issue of security when it, co when it comes to disaster management. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, insurgency in in the northeast or in, in the whole of the north is also a consideration for discussion in disaster. So disaster is not just about earthquake or fire. Insurgency is also uh, contributing to disaster mm -hmm. in, in Nigeria. For instance, the direct impact is food insecurity. And when there's food insecurity or you can't attend to farm, everything is linked to, uh, of course, development, disaster risk reduction. And so all these agencies are involved one way or the other in terms of collaboration, communication, working together before, during, and after a disaster. Mm. Or on, on a day like this, how best can today be commemorated to create the, the kind of impact that we'd like to see? Awareness, going to schools to talk about disasters, uh, NGOs, uh, different NGOs have different programs, oh. international humanitarian organizations have programs, UN have programs, and this is a day where you really have to remind the government, have to remind individual communities on how to go about uh, disaster uh, risk reduction. Mm. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Dari Hakifoshile, for coming on the program. We wish you well and what you do. Thanks for having me. Thank, Thank you. you. Great.